Really and what about some of the, the jewellery in, yeah. in there? Over here. This is beautiful. These are actually um, ceramic, like clay, this necklace. And this is made by some local Costa Rican women. Oh, wow. It's like some people wanted to give them an opportunity to make some money. Mm. And so they, so I they love how in. that happens here. It's really mm -hmm. amazing to see how people get supported. Definitely. Um, yeah, and then this woman locally it's also beautiful. makes all of these feathers, this amazing cuff um, yeah, that's cool. with feathers and just super organic. And um, yeah, these over here. And she, all of these feathers are from local local birds as well. Oh. And um, they don't kill the birds. They You're just, just going to ask you that. <laughs> yeah, they're just the bird shed, uh -huh. you know, so they Go around them. and pick up yeah. the feathers. And I'm, I just recently started carrying this line, which is These really amazing. And it's called Satya, which means, in Sanskrit, it means truth. And it's yoga-inspired jewelry. Mm -hmm. So they use a lot of ohms, as you can see, and it's all like pure gold and silver. And um, a lot of the ones with the gemstones actually sold, so I don't even have them to show you. But a lot of the ones have a little charm, so they'll have like a Ganesh for removing mm. obstacles or... Um, different stones, which like the amethyst is a stone of courage, you know, aquamarine, um, wow, that's also a stone of courage, awareness. So like all the different stones have different um, energies that they support sure, you with. Yeah. And so that's been really great as well, because I actually also make jewelry, but I just oh, do you? I haven't had oh, time. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so it's nice to find different people that are already, you know, that have the time and are dedicating their life to that and to support them and to have that here. And you guys offer like treatments here too, don't you? Like mm -hmm. massage and yeah, cranial sacral therapy. Yeah, so I I work with people um, and I mostly, when I do body work, I like to work with specific injuries or things that are going on mm -hmm. with that person rather than just doing a full body you know, relaxation. So I'll do kind of specific work, either doing cranial or deep tissue or mm -hmm. trigger point. Um, and then I also work with the yoga swing mm -hmm. as a therapy oh, tool wow. as well. So especially like for me, it really helped me because I have herniated discs in my neck. Mm. And so when I got the swing and was able to really experience that traction in my spine and work with it, it totally changed my life. So yeah. I love to work with people with that as well. Um, and then, yeah, I have at different times, different practitioners will come through mm -hmm. and offer their work. So right now I have Wisteria here who's mm -hmm. been doing um, alchemical hypnotherapy mm. as a session. What's that? Really I, obviously I know what powerful. hypnotherapy is, but what's the alchemy part of well, it? Well, she definitely has a very like spiritual um, point of view, yep. way of coming through, through, you know, with things. And so with her hypnotherapy, it's really, um, I mean, you'd, you'd have to ask her to get, you know, the specifics, mm -hmm. I think. But, but really, I would say like an alchemy is it's like the magic, yep. you know? So an alchemy is like when you bring things together and you have this kind of magic that comes from it. And so in her sessions, she's really helping you to go in and see, you know, what you can let go of and what you could bring in. And through mm -hmm. that, it's like creating this magic. Wow. Like that's and I like she's saying. psychic, isn't she? As yeah, well, she definitely, think, yeah. she yeah. like studied at the Psychic Institute and oh, like wow. has all these amazing trainings, mm -hmm. but you know, just, which helped her to kind of, yeah, bring that into being. I mean, I've known her for years and she's definitely, you know, very tapped in. Mm -hmm. um, and she also does barefoot shiatsu, so it's on mm -hmm. a mat that using her feet and really working the meridians. Mm -hmm. It's super relaxing and amazing. And um, yeah, and then at different times we just have, sometimes we'll have acupuncturists or people that do specific different kinds of body work. We have a couple coming back um, next month in June who do flying yoga. So, Flying yoga, oh my. Yeah, and they're amazing. Um, they, it's like acro yoga. It's like balancing. You know when you were little and you used to like balance on, uh, have somebody's feet on your hips and like be like a super, superwoman, superman. I like, don't think I'd ever did that, really? but I know I do oh, know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so it's a whole balancing, like doing yoga on somebody's feet while mm -hmm. you're balancing and it's mm. super amazing. It's like partner yoga and then... Oh, I, I know the position you mean. Yeah. yeah, it's cool. So they're coming back and he also does um, really amazing Thai massage as well. Mm. So yeah, we always have different, different people and different amazing offerings and different workshops and retreats, you know, hosting different people. So, yeah, we're also, you know, we're working on expanding. And mm -hmm. so 
we will have even more more offerings then and more people on board and really creating a platform for you know a sanctuary for living artfully mm -hmm. so really my whole philosophy and way of being and what I want to bring to other people is is creating environments and creating opportunities and experiences for people to connect with that creative essence mm -hmm. you know within us all and that joy and the seeing that we are the artists mm -hmm. of our own lives and that we get to create what we want to create in our lives and so having the tools here you know even like from how we adorn ourselves to how we move through the world to how we interact with people mm -hmm. you know and how we look at ourselves and you know how we feel about ourselves because it starts with ourselves and how you know the love that we have for ourselves and the acceptance and moving forward from that.